Okay, so I know Christian's family's probably real excited to hear this news. Uh, Courtney Clenny, aka Courtney Taylor, she was officially denied bond, so it doesn't look like she's going to be out anytime soon. So I know his family's definitely happy about that. So the story goes that um, Courtney Clenny uh, returned to her jail cell after making her first court appearance in Miami Dade County on Saturday. She's facing second degree murder rap for fatally stabbing Christian Obuselli, 27, during the chest during a fight in April. Attorneys for Clenny, who boasts around 2 million Instagram followers and once bustling the OnlyFans business, have argued that she killed Obuselli in self defense. Now, Anybody that's seen the history between these two, it don't look like it was some sort of self-defense. The video that we already seen of her fighting this dude on the elevator shows that clearly this white girl is a really aggressive chick. She's one of those girls where if she doesn't get her way, the first thing she's going to do is she's going to resort to violence. So if you've got somebody out there like that, man, you might want to might want to let that girl go, man. I don't care how, how fire she is. Now, her lawyer... Uh, Frank Preto is saying that she'd be facing a manslaughter rap at most and that she was deserving of a bond package. The judge, shout out to Judge uh, Jacqueline Woodward, uh, she wasn't buying it. Uh, she said that she's sending Clenny back to behind bars and she's going to have to wait her next court date. Now, Clenny, she was arrested while in rehab and therapy in Hawaii after four months after the bloody confrontation inside the couple's luxury residence, which is still baffling to me how she was in rehab in Hawaii like out of all the places that just doesn't make any sense Hawaii seems like some sort of vacation destination so for her to be out there in Hawaii seeing that she's getting her mind right and getting better sounds like to me that she was having a good old time and acting like the situation that happened was just in the past now the story that she's still sticking with to this day is that she threw a knife at him from a distance after he had shoved her to the ground. Now, Miami prosecutors said that the forensic evidence in this case contradicted her claim that she stabbed him at close range. Like, for her to say that she threw a knife from across the room just like that, and that was the reason he died, like, come on. How hard do you think you can throw a knife from across the room that is gonna pierce somebody's chest and kill him pretty much instantly. Nah, that sounds like you picked up a knife and you got up up close and you have to stab somebody. It's not like a gun where you just shooting from across the room. Nah, stabbing is real personal, is real close range. That ain't something that was just done accidentally. That sounds like that was your intent. You wanted to stab him, you wanted to kill him, and you got exactly what you was looking for. Now, in announcing her arrest, prosecutors released surveillance footage from the building elevator that appeared to show Clenny repeatedly beating Christian. That's the video that we saw earlier. But Clenny's attorneys argued that the cryptocurrency trader had bruised her client prior to the killing and that she was attempting to fend off his attack. Well, if he was beating on you and he was attacking you, then you should have a bunch of wounds on you, especially self-defense wounds that show that, hey, that you was trying to protect yourself and you was trying to fend off the attack. So we're definitely going to see the forensic evidence when this all comes out through trial to see that she have any defense marks or any bruises all over her body. Or this might just be one big story that she's just adding on and trying to add on. And her lawyers are kind of like putting up up to it to try and pretty much secure this manslaughter charge to go her way. Now, Obu Semi's family blasted the lack of arrest in the case as the weeks had passed after his death. They asserted the reluctance to charge Clenny with Obu Semi's murder was due to her being white. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. You know, when if a white girl does something to a black male, the first thing they're going to do is they're going to try and sweep it under the rug and act like it didn't happen. Because this, when you're in this country and you white, you're presumed innocent right away. Everybody's going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Everybody's going to look at you like you did nothing wrong. I feel personally that this case probably would have made it way to trial had it not gotten a lot of public attention, a lot of media attention. And that's what really brought it to light to say, that, hey, hold up. You guys are going to let this story just get swept under the rug and act like it didn't happen. So I'm glad his family is able to continue to the process of getting some sort of justice because it don't look like it's going to go this chick's way to be denied bond. And I think the main reason why the judge denied her bond is because like this girl, she seems like she got some paper. 
whether it be from OnlyFans, whether it be from her Instagram following that she got, if they would have gave her like 50,000 or 100,000, I'm sure she'd probably be able to come up with that money. Or if she would have put out a GoFundMe, like when you look like that and you're white, you just see people out the nine just donating fifty dollars here, a hundred dollars there, twenty dollars there. Even people that just may not not necessarily even like her, but they just don't want to see no white girl do no time over no black male. So I'm glad she was denied bond. If you look at her um her case, her hearing, you see she has on the um suicidal vest on that green jacket that you see. Yeah, that's um they usually give that to people that uh have thoughts of committing suicide, so I'm, I'm not too sure if that's the reason Well, she's going through some things behind bars, but I'm glad she's away from people and she's behind bars and she can't do no harm to no other black male. So I'm definitely going to be following this case and keeping up with this case and see what eventually plays out. I think she has another hearing coming up soon. I believe it's is it September 6th. I believe she has another hearing coming up soon. I can't find the exact date. Yeah, I, I, but I think it's September 6th. But whatever that date is, yeah, man, I'm definitely going to be keeping up. But we'll see how eventually all this plays out. But that's my take on this conversation, man. Like if you want to. Comment if you want to. Subscribe if you want to. If not, like goes on.